Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this little pre-video edit. I thought what I would do is just put this here just to let you know that the video that's coming up, I did film about two or three weeks ago and never got around to putting up on YouTube um, as I've been kind of, I was away um, and then I had some university work to do last week, which has kind of taken up most of my time really. Um, but yeah, so enjoy this next video and I will get up, get around to making some more um, videos for my channel very soon. So take care. So hello everyone and welcome back to the greenhouse. Um, I'm back from uh, my training course for the weekend again. So I thought I'd do a little bit in the greenhouse, um, not very much, but a little bit. Um, and hopefully when I'm back after my next week on my training course, I've got some time off so I can actually get a bit more done. So let's have a look at what I've been doing today. So you may remember last few videos, I've been talking a lot about this grow room and my plans for a little extension um, and over this weekend and a bit of last weekend, I've created that extension. So what I've done is I have, for the time being, removed the Garpson out of here um, because it, it was a lot for that to try and light. And what I've done is I've created a new grow room in here. As you can see, I've lined this one a bit better. I've used the, um, the kind of foil insulation type stuff. Um, which is on all walls and the ceiling. I've got the Garpson up there, and then I've got a temperature and humidity uh, monitor that came with the newest grow light that I've got, um, because I don't need that in the actual grow room. So I thought I'd put it on this wall. And the thing that I'm quite pleased about in here, let's just try and pop that in, is it is the perfect depth to put uh, root trainers and we can actually fit probably about three root trainers in there. Let's just try lifting that one across. Yeah, so we can fit about three root trainers in there. So it's gonna be a good place to start off. Stuff that doesn't necessarily need to be kept really warm because this one's unheated, um, but things like beans and that sort of stuff, um, I'm gonna get started off in here in root trainers. So the next thing that I wanted to show you, um, I've put the new Aocrine light in. Uh, I still don't know how to say that word. Um, and as you can see, it's made a massive difference inside this grow room. Um, as you can see at the moment, I've just got the grow setting on, uh, veg setting even. Um, but I can add the bloom. If I were to turn that off, you get this nice, uh, purpley colour but then with the um, yeah it's incredible um, really pleased with this light um, I think it's definitely worth the extra money compared to the Garps and T5 I mean it did come along with as we said before the, uh, the little temperature and humidity um, thingy majig that we've got there which is coming useful so overall, really good light so far, um, but I will, of course, do a review at a later date. So there we go. As you can see, it's starting to get quite dark now, which means it's almost time for me to leave and drive back down to the West Country uh, for the last week of my training course for work. Um, hopefully when I get back, I, I have got some university work to do, but then after that, I've got time off so that I can go down to the allotment and I can get things like chilli seeds started off ready for next year. So anyway, that's all from me for today. So thanks for watching. Take care. Happy allotment, Tim.